Steps Coach here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm coming at you guys with an update talking type video. Um, this is basically a video where I'm going to talk, go over about the stuff that's happening in my life, um, what's going on with the channel and everything like that. Basically most of my update videos that happen. Um, so if you remember the last time I made this video, I titled it Huge Announcement. It was me announcing my Patreon. Um, if you do not support me on Patreon, I would highly recommend you do because if you do, if you donate five dollars, you get access to my private Discord server. If you donate ten dollars, I think it is, you get uh, access to my private Discord server and fast track. You get uh, to ask me any question you want, and I will answer it as honestly as possible. Um, as well as you will be fast tracked to the top of any mailbag. Q&A videos I have, um, and if you don't have $15, you will get, uh, you, you get to, uh, request a subject for me to talk about on, uh, a, on an upcoming podcast of RPG Speak, um, which is going to be, uh, probably the biggest topic that I talk about today, um, but before we get into that, um, I want to give a few quick shout outs. I gave these two, I've gave, I gave these shout outs, um, in my, um, in my first, in my second history time video, uh, history time number two, where I talked about world war one. Um, I want to give some shout outs to, uh, casual respawn and damsels and ding bats, uh, casual respawn. Some of the funniest people I've ever seen on YouTube. Um, they've only got, they don't even have 50 subscribers yet, you guys. I mean, I would highly recommend you go over and subscribe to them right now. Link in the description below to their channel. Um, they're really funny guys. They do gameplay videos together. Um, basically if you've ever seen, uh, Game Grumps, if you ever watch Game Grumps, if you know who Game Grumps are, um, they're basically the younger version of them. Um, not saying that they're pirating them like perfect like they're not like they're copying their style of video because a lot of people do that style of video where it's just two of them but like where it's just two three four people playing one game a lot of people do that um but that's the type of style of video that they do they play video games together in the same place and they uh they they, they just play video games and it's great uh, i love them uh so go over there check them out tell them i sent you um and it'll all be in good fun. Um, and Damsels and Dingbats, Renavion, holy shit, is he doing a good job over there. Um, he's just hit the 50 subscriber mark. So go over there, show him some love if you guys want to. Um, tell him that I sent you as well. Post in, the, uh, post in the comments that I sent you. Tell him you are something. Those exact words, you are something. Um, chances are he'll see that because he watches my videos he's watched almost every single one of the videos i've put out in the past like year or two so you know it's uh hi um but yeah go check him out he just released the first two part the first session of his uh deadlands uh campaign online featuring some of the his uh, old everdark group and haphazardness who i've talked about on the channel um so it's kind of a mesh of the his D and D tabletop group that I'm in, and his D and D online group that I'm not in. Um, so, because he wants to keep tabletop, he wanted to keep the tabletop people out of having all of the fun with the elderly. Yes, I called everybody that's in that was in the Everdark campaign online. Elderly, deal with it, Renavion. Um, but. Yeah, go uh, go check him out. The Deadlands session is hilarious. I, I, I tell you, if uh, if I didn't know he was funny before that, I I I that that entire group, man, they just play off each other so well. Um, they do some of the create some of the funniest things I've ever seen in uh, role playing. I mean, not I mean it's, it's some of the funniest things, not the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, because I have seen some really stupid shit happen in, uh, role-playing. But, um, yeah, they're hilarious. They play off each other really well. Um, the game they're running is a module that was created by the company, and it, uh, 
you won't you wouldn't even be able to you wouldn't be able to tell um because we're Navion, he has i'm gonna yes i am going to gloat about your about you for a while Renavion, because you refuse to do it yourself um but he has this perfect way of being able to take a module or pre-created role-playing game and turn it into something that you wouldn't even know is one because most of the time when you go when you talk when you talk when you're talking about modules for role-playing games uh most of them are extremely linear they have one path that you're supposed to follow and if you get off track it will um kind of throw off the entire campaign um but with renavion he manages to make it really linear but also sandbox you know it's kind of that perfect little mesh because uh, sandbox is basically there's a story that you want players to follow but it's a free it's basically the equivalent of a free roam game like skyrim gta and fallout compared to an extremely linear game um like shit i don't know i don't play too many linear games um call of duty uh battlefield all these types of games that they basically keep you on the road to the story um that's what a linear game is and like i said sandbox is basically you can go off and do whatever the hell you want uh but eventually you're gonna have to come back to the story you can do a bunch of side missions and whatnot but you're gonna have to come back to the story eventually in order to complete the game um yeah he has a great way of managing to mesh both of those together and it's amazing it's hilarious i definitely recommend you guys go check it out um a link in the description to his channel um i believe i have the uh i think i have it posted on my channel too um at the bottom of my channel because my content's more important than yours renavion um <laughs> but um yeah don't complain over free publicity <laughs> um but uh yeah definitely go check both of those guys both of those channels out there extremely amazing both hilarious um and yeah tell them i sent you uh and then also tell both of them that they are something not they are then put your own thing in there just put they are something or say cool mama jamma told me to tell you that you are something all right that's it that's all you have to do and if they reply just reply back yes you are something i am something we are all something that's what you reply back and then you hopefully get into this philosophical we are very insignificant in the universe type of conversation and my fucking phone's been blown up all day by people with scam likely and it's pissing me off i swear to god if somebody calls me again during this recording i will answer it and it's pissing me off and i don't know who it is at different numbers all the time too and it's really making me mad um i might just have to change my number but we're getting off topic um yeah, that's one thing that's been happening uh, with those shoutouts. But then other, the other thing is, um, I've come as you, like I said at the beginning of the video, I clearly come back to history time and RPG readings, um, and that's because I really have no other ideas. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, the whole gaming channel scene has kind of died out, um, and well, not really died out because there are still a bunch of gaming channels that are really making it on YouTube and have a really good chance of making it on YouTube. I don't think I'm one of them. Um, like I say constantly, I have nothing but love and support, and love and thanks for you guys, um, for your guys' support. Uh, I really, really, really do appreciate it. We're just one big happy family, um, and I couldn't ask for a better one. Uh, but with the gaming scene so clogged up with other youtubers in the gaming industry trying to make it um they it's hard to break out you know um 
if you didn't it's really it, like it's just really hard to get into the gaming craze because you've got so many large gamer gaming channels out there that their subscribers really have no time at all to other people other uh people who are subscribed to them or like watching them have no time at all to go and search for smaller channels that might be hilarious or smaller channels that they might like um within video games um because it's why would you go through your tr through the trouble to uh find a small channel like mine with 160 subscribers that might be funny when you can go to the same channel with a million, two million, ten million, twenty million subscribers that you know will always have funny videos out. You know, it's kind of that type of deal. So I can't really see it, me myself making it as a gaming channel. Hell, I can barely see myself making it in a YouTube as any channel, but I sure as shit will keep trying. Um, the gaming scene of my channel is going to be dying down a lot. Um, I might only have one gameplay series up at a time, and that'll probably just be Call of Duty. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Um, it'll probably be my Call of Duty series, and occasionally the random gameplay, um, or random video game clips, or whatever the hell I called it, um, series. That'll probably happen uh, quite a bit too. But other than that, there's not gonna not gonna really be any let's plays. Um, yeah, there's not not gonna really be any let's plays mainly because um, it's oversaturated, and I just can't do it anymore. Not that I can't do it anymore. I'd love to play video games for a living, but it's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Um. Is that going to mean I'm going to stop doing Let's Plays? Like I said, no. I'll probably have one Let's Play going on at some point. Um, but that all depends on the time. Because uh, it's been re it's really... You guys have no clue how difficult it is to record when your bedroom is in a basement where everybody goes to because you live right next to the washing machines and the freezer. My cats are going after each other because one of them's an asshole and the other one won't leave him alone. Rosie! This fucking cat, I swear to God. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, um, I'm just not gonna do too many Let's Plays anymore. Um, but let's get off of that subject because it's depressing as hell and let's get to... Uh, the main topic of this video, which is going to be my RPG Speak podcast, um, where if you guys don't know about the podcast, that's why I have the Patreon in the first place is to support the podcast. But um, the only reason I have the uh, I have uh, th 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 um, I created the podcast for me to be able to uh, ta have an outlet to talk about. Um, everything that I can that's role playing related, um, and whatnot, and I know I can do that with YouTube, which is why I plan on posting my podcast to the RPG Speak YouTube channel. Um, I'm not gonna post it to this main channel just because um, this channel is already being filled up with RPG related talk, you know, like um, RPG readings. And then I've got my history time series and whatnot. So I mean, I'm probably not gonna post. I'm not gonna post it to this channel, but I will post it to the RPG Speak channel. Link in the description below to the RPG Speak channel. Um, and yeah, so I originally had posted in the announcement video that went up on Patreon as well that uh, RPG Speak will be re-debuting. I guess you can say um, April 4th, which is now uh, three weeks ago. <laughs> Um, my original plan was to start it on April 4th, but things kind of took a turn, uh, for the worse, um, cause that was about, um, that was about half a month after I left Job Corps, and, uh, when I got out of Job Corps, I was hoping to have a job within a week or two of, um, being out of Job Corps, 
and be in school at that point as well. But the school I went to, I was going to go to, I read reviews on, and it was terrible. Um, and then I, so, so now I have to find another uh, school to go to, but the whole job thing, it's fucking bullshit. I've been applying everywhere I could. I applied to all these. I applied to a hardware store. I applied to a lawn care company. I've applied to, in total, probably seven places. And I haven't gotten a call back from any of them. You know? And it's... It sucks. You know? Um, I really... If you can hear that in the background, that's the bloody washing machine. This is what I live with every day. Uh, but yeah, it's really, it, it's been really difficult trying to find a job, um, but I'm not going to give up because I need money coming in, and I, uh, this is one of the reasons why, because I want to move out of this place so I don't have to deal with this every day. And funny, funny story, the only reason I'm down here is because my sisters kept fighting over who gets the remote control on which night, so, you know, move the only boy in the house to the basement, because that makes perfect sense, right? Two younger sisters couldn't ha couldn't decide who gets the remote for the TV which day. Because they shared a room. And it was going great until the remote came into play. You know. But it's whatever. Life is life. Life goes on. Um, but, yeah. That's another reason why RPG Speak has been postponed. Is because I don't have an environment that won't destroy my recordings, you know? I don't have an environment that will allow me to have quiet between the washing machines and the fact that it's the basement. And I don't even have a wall here, you know? I don't have a wall to, that's put up there or in a door that'll keep people from coming that into my room you know if i could put up a wall you sure as shit know i would but we rent this place and uh we won't get my family refuses to try and get permission from the homeowners to allow me to put up a wall but you know like i said life goes on anyways um yeah that's what <laughs> that was supposed to be about rpg speed but it ended up turning into a rant about my life um but, yeah, um, RPG Speak will be coming back, uh, I promise that. I don't have an exact date when it'll be back, but it will be back, um, in the future. Uh, hopefully the near future, um, so keep your fingers crossed. But anyways, before this wash machine gets much louder than it needs to be, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, please leave a like on the video if you want. Post a comment about anything. I don't care. As long as it's not racist. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is, as always, Cool Mamma Jamma. And I will see you guys later. Stay cool, Jammas. See ya.